Hello and welcome. I'm Andreas Fertig. I work as a trainer and consultant primarily for C++. And I'm also the creator of C++ Insights. And this is also the tool I like to talk about in this series. So in today's episode, I like to show you some of the little differences between different standard versions you probably know some of these differences, others may be new to you. The goal here is to make them visible using C++ insights. We start with this example here. I have a struct called test, which has a single member function called fun. Um, it always returns to um, just because it can and it happens to be const export. Now I use it in main, I just declare an object of type test, call it t, and for the next couple of things, the focus is here on the selected standard. Because if I compile this and all those of you who were there from the beginning, from C++11 on, they may know that it's one of the rare cases when the standards committee decided to make a possibly breaking change. And Clang in this case here informs us about this. Now I assume GCC and MS3C do the same. It tells us that non-static member functions will no longer implicitly be const starting with C++14. And in fact, if we look at the transformation here on the right, then we can see that there is a const added to this method, which we haven't typed and probably haven't wanted. Because just making a const expert method in a class doesn't necessarily imply that I like it to be const expert. Think of use cases where you like to change a member value at compile time with one method and just read it with another multiple times, something like that. So it's possible that you have a use case where you like to modify data at compile time for your compile time object. And that's not possible if the method implicitly is const. So it makes sense that with C++14 this was changed, the warning goes away, so thus the implicit const here. So the function is now equivalent to what we've wrote and that's probably most likely what we expected and what we want. However, if you had C++11 code and relied Implicitly on the fact that this method fun was const expert in C++14, this was a breaking change for you. So if you're still maintaining C++11 code and are not aware of that, keep it in mind when migrating to hopefully C++20 soon. Okay, here we have a different example. I'm still using the struct test. The function fun is gone, but this time I declared a defaulted destructor. As you can see at the top here, the standard I'm using currently is C++17. Everything else is the same. I declare object of type test and initialize it with the curly braces. Now if I transform this, we can see on the right inline here is added. Other than that, it's just the default we requested. The compiler is free of course to add this inline here because essentially we asked it to provide the implementation. So we like it efficient, so please make it inline. Now there's C++17. If we peek into what's probably coming in 
well, hopefully the next weeks or month, C++ 20, then we can see an interesting difference. Now, we can have const expert destructors. And whenever we ask the compiler now for the default implementation, the compiler implicitly makes this destructor const expert. So that's a nice thing for all those of you who like to const expert all the things. And you know, so often it comes for free. So just upgrade to C20 and the compiler will add const expert for us to all our destructors, which are defaulted. That's a great thing. That's it for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Bye bye.